you know, what did it mean to get that game winning drive? Yeah, for us it meant a lot. You know, right now we're you know fighting to trying to get into the playoffs. Uh, division game against a division opponent. It was a real tough game out there. Uh, yeah, as you guys can see, it was a real scrappy game out there. Uh, and I also felt like during the season we had some opportunities where we could have done the same thing and might have fell short. And so uh, as we continue on late into the season, uh, you know, you want to show improvement. And I think that's what it showed, uh, a lot of grit, um, determination. You see uh, a bunch of different guys made plays, uh, made catches, and the offensive line did a great job. And so uh, – you know, it's something that we got to have. You know, the games are going to come down to that in the NFL. That's what the playoff game is going to feel like, and uh, it was real good to get a win. Coach Carroll talked about your poise and talked about just your determination, like you said, your grit, your focus. Just as you're going throughout the season and going into that game with a drive, what was your mentality? What were you thinking and making sure that you were able to be successful in that drive? You know, honestly, just one play at a time and, uh, you know, take out the situation and just play football. Um, you know, obviously, you know, you know, the game's on the line. But I think sometimes when you focus on that, uh, you know, it can, it can build stress. And so for me, just, you know, make the plays uh, one play at a time, get the ball to the guys, complete passes. Uh, you know, Coach Carroll told me, hey, just play pitch and catch. And uh, that's what I tried to do, you know, just go out there and uh, get the ball in scoring range. Uh, and then when we got down there, uh, we had enough time to go out there and finish. And uh, DK made a tremendous catch. Uh, the line did a great job. You know, Shane made a great call, and we, we pulled it out. It's done. I mean, it's got to be pretty cool. I know you're a team first guy. You're going to give everybody the credit. But you let a game when you drive uh, and, you know, come back and beat these guys on the road. I mean, that, that's kind of feel cool. Yeah, I mean, that's, that's the game. You know, that's the game, man. It's the game I grew up uh, watching and loving, man, just watching uh, how tough those games can be. And uh, we wanted to do this for our fan base. Uh, we wanted to do this for our team. You know, obviously we came back and uh, we didn't win the previous two games. And so this was crucial. Uh, it was important for us to get this win, a division opponent, like I said. And also, man, we're fighting for the playoffs. That's, that's what my mind is. I want to get to the playoffs. And so I'm focusing on that uh, one game at a time, you know, just trying to put us in position to, uh, you know, give ourselves a chance. It was a very tight window on that touchdown to DK. What what did you see, and how did you try to position that throw so you could make the play in front of Ramsey? Yeah, uh, you know the NFL is full of. Tight window throws. You're going to have to be able to make those. Um, you got great defenders out there. Ramsey's a great corner. And uh, on that play, uh, DK was lined up on the backside. He came across on an over route. Uh, Ramsey was right on his back, and there was a safety uh, kind of right in front of him. So uh, there wasn't a huge window. But, I mean, when you got DK Metcalf, you know, big 6'4 receiver, 220, 230, uh, it's going to be hard for those guys to get to the ball before he does. And so I just tried to put it on him, um, allow him to, you know, use his skill set, and he made a tremendous catch. You know, red zone situations that one of your favorite plays? I would say so, man. Anytime you can throw a game winner, man, it's always uh, it's always great. Um, you know, especially the way that we did it today, we were gritty. Uh, it took every single man on the team, took every player on offense, and uh, we just continued to fight. Um, we had an ch- opportunity there. We could have just said, hey, let's just settle for the field goal. No one was in that mindset. You know, we all were thinking, let's go win the game, and uh, we got it done. What happened against Atlanta in that final drive and what happened against the Raiders in the last couple of drives, did that contribute to things to learning to how to execute the way you have to today? Yes, sir. Um and that's what we got to have. You know, you got to continue to progress, find ways to get better. Uh, obviously, we didn't do that um, in those other two games. Uh, but like I said, no one panicked. We just looked at it as uh, another opportunity to learn and get better and to grow. And so when you have those moments in the game, uh, Coach showed us Kobe last night. And, um, you know, the Mamba mentality, that's what he's all about. Is, uh, is going out there and winning, you know, late in the games. And so uh, we embrace that challenge, and we look forward to it. Uh, I think I told you guys that I look forward to that next opportunity, and this was it. And so uh, we got it done today, took everybody, and, uh, you know, it was always great to get a win. When you saw Walker go down and you saw Dallas get hurt, did you get a sense it might come down to you and how it would take over the game? Yeah, I mean, I just – that's how I <clears throat> play the game. You know, I, I want to take over the game, you know, from start to finish. And so uh, obviously – you know, praying for my guys, man. Hope they get back healthy soon. Uh, we need those guys. But, you know, the quarterback uh, in the NFL is the, is the critical, you know, piece of the team. If you don't have a quarterback, it's going to be hard to win. And, uh, you know, for me, uh, that's, all, that's what I pride myself on. You know, my guys being able to count on me, no matter the situation, uh, being reliable for the team, for the city, and uh, just going out there and winning, try, trying to find ways to win. Did you catch seven's your career high? Did that year 10, year 11, does that mean you? It's a number. Does it mean anything? Not a thing. The win, the win means something. The numbers don't mean a thing. Did you catch whatever sickness was going around the building? Yeah. Yeah, I've been struggling, man. I woke up today hurting. And uh, I just kept fighting, kept going, kept going, kept going. And, 
you know, God's good. Nah, we ain't gonna say that. <laughs> it wasn't a big enough game, but it was a good, you know, it was a good way to win. He showed you a Kobe interview, or a- yeah, he just showed, yeah, he showed the team, you know, uh, Kobe interviews and uh, you know a couple of uh, you know times where he was he was talking um, just about his mentality and things like that. You, know, you mentioned the win, you did something to you, so you had the ball. Is that from the, the final play that you were bringing into the locker room? Yes, sir. The third down, the strike the third down to Tyler. I mean, just he, he seems to always go to in those moments. Just yeah. Talk about the game he had. I mean, Tyler had a, another great game. Uh, very reliable guy, uh, loves to play, you know, uh, can count on him to win any one on one situation. Uh, you know, those guys uh, with Tyler and DK, man, they make it, I, I assume they got to make it extremely hard on D coordinators. You were trying to figure out ways to stop those guys. And, um, you know, anytime uh, I get an opportunity to get those guys the ball, uh, as well as our tight ends, our backs, man, I'm, I'm looking forward to it because we got great players. Uh, they work extremely hard and they just deserve to do well. You saw and felt uh, Bobby Wagner's game. What was it like going against him? Man, it was great. <clears throat> Excuse me. It was great. You know, Bobby is. Um, <clears throat> He's a player who I, I've always admired. Uh, he's always uh, been just an extremely great leader, um, very consistent player, uh, Hall of Fame caliber football player, and, uh, you know, a guy who I really learned a lot from, you know, with just his demeanor, the way he carries himself, uh, his passion for the game. He made a ton of great plays out there. We expected that. Uh, he was leading those guys the entire time. A little bit of trash talk, you know, all, all fun and games, and, uh, you know, it was just a blessing to be able to go out there and compete against him. From the on the Bobby Man, I'll say this. You know, I got to be careful. Uh, but I did see the running back with the ball in his hand and his knee down. So I don't know what happened after that. You know, they call it interception. Anything else? Thanks, Thank, Thank you. you.